Okay, so we are going out to the garden to plant garlic. Really needs to be planted. Uh, we've had a couple really good frosts. Uh, the garden is looking pretty sad. Uh, we've, um, yeah, we've, we, we have fertilized some of the beds, not all of the beds. And we were choosing which bed to put the garlic in. And I think we're going to put it in this big bed right here. We, um, last year had it in one of the smaller beds. You can see here, had it in that one. And it was the first year we ever grew it. So we weren't really sure if it was going to grow good or not. <laughs> we didn't even know when to plant it, how to plant it, or anything. So this year, we do. So we are going to put it into this bed. Um, but first, we need to clean this bed out. Uh, it's This year, we had our tomatoes and peppers in here and our basil. And it didn't do really great. Um, they did better on the other side. I don't know if it was just the soil. It was the second year for the soil. Maybe it wasn't amended enough. So um, we're going to do that. We're going to plant our garlic and see what happens. What we're picking out is the little calendula that's reseeding itself. Can you see the little seed on there? It's regrowing. Uh, that has been a challenge in this bed for sure, is staying ahead of the calendula. I was told that it was an annual, not a perennial, but this stuff has come back with a vengeance. And I let it come because I collect it for tea and for oils and stuff. So um, I did dry some calendula and you can see where it's starting to come back, but I don't want it in this bed. So it's going to be a vigilant task on our part to keep it out of here. Um, this winter won't be a problem, but come spring, I know I'm going to have a lot of shoots. So right now we're just trying to pick through here and get all of those out or as many as we can so we don't have to fight with them as much next year. Okay, this is our compost and it looks really good actually from what it was to what it is now. So, uh, and this is, this was actually contained, but the chickens have gotten into it and picked through it and done their thing. So it's all over the place, but we're going to use some of this because it's last year's. We're going to put that in the garlic bed and all of this stuff is leftover tomato plants, calendula, um, different things that um, really need to be chopped up before they put in there because they break down a lot quicker. But right now we're just going to shovel up this compost and get it into the wheelbarrow so that we can use it in the garlic bed. I think that will help the soil quite a bit.
Amended, soil is amended. We've kind of hand tilled it all in. So now we're going to start planting the garlic. We ordered these cloves. We're not planting the ones that we grew last year because really we didn't get enough to plant and eat as well. We eat a lot of garlic. So we did purchase some garlic this year through Fedco which is a seed company here in Maine. We like to order through them, or even Johnny Seeds. They were out though, they didn't have any. So um, it's nice to order from Maine because we live in Maine. They know our climate. What we're getting from them is something that's tried and true, tested here in Maine, so we know it's going to grow well. So that is the reason for ordering from them. We ordered two pounds was about roughly forty dollars and uh, I don't know how many garlic uh, heads were in there do you I'm not sure we didn't really count them. should have counted them but there was quite a few we have um, quite a few little uh, cloves here I'll show you you can see in here there's quite a few so we're going to get those planted you want to put them a good six inches apart and they need to go three inches down below the soil, the top of the soil. So you want to get them down in there where they're going to be nice and snug and warm for the winter. So we don't want um, them to be killed off. I'm going to get helping him and let you guys just watch the show. planting garlic there you take the um, whole head apart and you have these little cloves don't remove the paper from the cloves there is a pointy end and then there is an end a root end you want to make sure you plant it with a pointy end up and that flat piece down and you want to put it down about three to four inches and at least six inches apart on each side
we have this whole bed planted that's done I really didn't think we had enough to fill this whole bed it's um, eight feet this way and four feet this way so and it's at an L so it's again eight feet this way and four feet this way I didn't think we'd have enough to fill it we not only had enough to fill that one but we also did the one next to it so, and this one got filled. So we have two um, good sized beds. This one is a four by four. So those are all filled with garlic. So that's going to be really nice for next year. I can't wait. There's a lot of stuff that's already gone by in here that we're gonna pull out today. And we have the zucchini underneath of the tarp, actually. My husband's getting ready to pull that tarp over. Even with the tarp covering it those nights that it was frosted, it still has a little bit of frost. I'm hoping that there is some zucchini on here. If there isn't, we're just gonna pull the whole thing because at this point, it's not going to grow. I mean, they're not very big, but they'll taste really good. These two are just like newborns. <laughs> they're really, really tiny, and they say that you can do the blossoms. So I'm gonna try that. Hello? Hi. Hi. 
Hi, Mason. Not down here right now. I think he went home to eat his lunch. You want to say hi to the chickens? Yeah. Okay, you can say hi to the chickens. You hold on just a second. I'm going to say I'm just in time because I'm seeing my battery and it's showing that it's it's done. <laughs> so just want to show you we are done the beds for now. We still have beets. We still have carrots as I mentioned before. Um, we will get those out. It is so cold. My lips are frozen. Uh, we'll get those out. Just not today. I want to get them out on a day where I can pull them and then can them the same day while they're nice and fresh. And that's not going to be today. Oh, and we still have one um, Brussels sprout plant in here, which that can stay here, you know, well into the cold, cold weather because it's not going to hurt it a bit. But for now, we have finished these beds. And I do feel like the um, bit of OCD in me really wants to sweep <laughs> the the floor of the garden I call it the floor of the garden it's the ground but it's where that mat is let me show you see where that mat goes that where that lays down I feel like I want to sweep that it's awful my husband thinks I'm crazy but I just like to have a nice clean space and if this is going to be down here I like for it to be clean so I probably will go get the brim and sweep that just because I can't help myself a lot of it is a wreck, not just because of what we did today, but because of the chickens. <laughs> when they're getting in there, they're kicking all of that dirt out and um, compost and loving it all. As I said before, look what they did to the compost. <laughs> so right now, uh, we've been feeding them a lot of the weeds and things, extras from the garden. We found some uh, cucumbers some other things and uh, throwing them into their pen and they're enjoying that. You can see how they are actually absolutely loving their little treats today. So I'm going to head in, get my stuff put away and I've got to get some lunch. My husband has gone to take care of his dad who's 94. He's going to get him some lunch. So I guess it's until next time. <laughs>